right, we've got some really important information this morning, Matt. Hundreds of children die each year from sudden cardiac arrest and often without any warning signs. Having an automated external defibrillator or AED nearby can be the difference between life and death. And thanks to donations, Children's Hospital is able to place AEDs in schools across our region through Project Adam Tennessee. Joining us now is Karen Dean Smith, Project Adam Tennessee coordinator. Good morning. Hey, Laura. So this is so important. I know at my mm. daughter's high school right now, we had a campaign to get money to work with you all to put AEDs in our school. We had one, but we needed more to cover the right. whole school. So let's talk about what happens during this type of an emergency, the cardiac arrest. Well, an AED is uh, to help a victim of sudden cardiac arrest, which is an electrical problem in the heart when the ventricles cease to function properly and within minutes unless CPR and an AED are used the victim will likely die. This can be something in an otherwise seemingly healthy kid is that right. correct? Um, sudden cardiac arrest is the number one killer of high school athletes on campus. Often it's a, a, somebody playing basketball or running track who has no apparent signs of illness and they'll suddenly collapse without any warning. Well, it's so scary. Now, this is an AED, and these are right. these would be mounted in, we see them in public places right. a lot, and schools is where you all are really focusing trying to get them. Yes, and um, it's so simple to use, and, and our goal is to help school staffs. Often, they will have an AED, and they won't have any idea what it's to be used for or where it is even. And so we want them to feel comfortable with using it and know how simple it is. Can and you show me the basics yes. for if you have all an emergency? All AEDs, there are several different types, but all of them, all you have to do really is turn them on and listen to the instructions. So to turn this one on, you open the door, and in just a minute, he'll start talking to you. Stay calm. Follow these voice instructions. Isn't that reassuring? Make sure 911 is called now. I'm putting my mic near it. Begin by exposing patient's bare chest and torso. Remove or cut clothing if needed. All right, He's so it really is just going to walk you through the process. Yes, and it's going to make a decision about whether the heart needs to be shocked or not. You so you don't even have to know no. for sure that that's the situation? No, and this machine uh, will actually deliver the shock itself. Some you have to punch a button, but that's all you have to do. All the pads have pictures on them that show you exactly where they're to be placed on the victim's chest. So, so they're so simple, and um, we really want people to feel comfortable. Part of our program is... Uh, training teams at each school, providing CPR and AED training, and then running a drill with the staff so they have a plan that they've practiced. And usually after they do that, they feel a whole lot better about the whole situation. And you are wanting to make sure that Tennessee schools have an, enough AEDs to make them, what's the designation, a heart safe Heart staff? safe, yes, but it, it's really important that they not only have the AED, but they also have a team that's been trained. And it doesn't take um, but a few minutes to run a drill and to have some staff awareness training so everybody knows what the plan is. How can people find out how to help and how to donate? Um, they can go to our website, etch.com. They can find out about Heart Safe Schools under our Community Benefits um, page. And is there money available like to help schools? We are always looking for grants that will help. We've um, placed a whole lot of AEDs through the help of um, grants from across East Tennessee. But also school foundations can contribute. We have matched funds for your daughter's school, for example. Um, Children's has funds set aside just for the purchase of AEDs. So there are whole lots of different ways to do it. It just depends on the situation and the, um, the abilities of a particular school district to provide funds. Well, Karen, very important. Thanks so much for being here Thank with us this morning. Me. You're very welcome. And we're coming right back up.